Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io, and in this video, we're gonna see how you can do a quick add to cart option in your store for free in the code yourself. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Don't panic, it's gonna be a great. Let's just go. All right, so uh, we are on our demo store right here. And actually, let's start by seeing how it currently looks. If you have done coding videos with me before, those are the videos where I wear the green hoodie. Um, you know what this looks like right here. Um, this is the product page. There is really no add to cart. I can go into the collection page. There is no quick add to cart here uh, in any way, as you can see. Uh, I can only add it to cart this way, and then actually I am on the cart now. So um, let's change that right now and do a quick add to cart option. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a duplicate of our live team. Do not work on the live team because if you make an error and you have no backup, you are screwed and you have to call a professional and it's going to cost you money and we don't want that right now. So to make a duplicate, uh, make sure you click on actions right here. On the drop down, you're going to click on duplicate there you go and it's creating the duplicate right here by the way if you're worried about this speed score thing make sure to check out the video i made on speed reporting it explains you exactly what you need to do about it how to interpret it and you're going to be a whole lot wiser about it hopefully hopefully if you give it a like and a subscribe okay it has been duplicated we are going to work on this version because it's not live so it's not going to affect any of our clients any of our visitors this is just a backup version. Afterwards, we can put it live. So we're going to jump in the code. Below in the description, there is a link. If you follow that link, you're going to you're gonna find a instruction step by step on how to add the code. The code snippets are in that document in the link below. You're just going to copy paste them the same way I'm going to copy paste them right now. I'm just walking you through it so you have a visual. So to do that, you're going to click on actions right here and you're going to do edit code. The little code editor is loading up and we are in the code editor right now. Okay, in this section, you have the layout, the template section, you have the section section, and then you have the snippet section. We want to be in the snippet section. So click on that one and then you're going to find something called product with grid item. So let's see if we have it here. Uh, product card grid that it is going to be this one. The name changes a little bit depending on which team you are currently using. And I have the um, alternative names written in the documentation below. So uh, we want the product card grid. Yes, that is the one. So the product card grid. Otherwise, you can also have the product grid item, uh, the product card grid, like with us, the product loop, maybe it's called with you, or the product uh, cart straight up. As long as you're in the snippet section, that's what really matters. Some one of those are going to be for you. Okay, so once you're in that product card grid or whatever it's called, you're going to go to the very bottom of it and you're going to paste the code that we have provided in the documentation. Um, right here, I added a little note here myself to say start of the quick add card. This is up to you, of course, you can uh, do this or you can don't. If it's not there, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's just cleaner code, so I prefer it that way. And um, that's basically going to be it. So make sure it's at the very end of it and then we can save it. And if we go into the online store, we can see the version that we have just worked on. It's the one that's last saved just now. We can do actions, preview, and there we go, we have, it took over the uh, all the CSS of our little blog here. We can add it to cart and it immediately gets added to the cart. So um, if we do it like this, we can do 10, add to cart. So there we go, now we know that works. We just have to put it live. 
And in order to put it live, we're going to go to action. We're going to click on publish. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to show this to your clients? Uh, even though I really don't like the design of this, um, you can absolutely change that yourself. You can click publish right here. Once that is done, we can just, um, so once that is the copy of the debut team is live, we can just double check that by clicking the button right here. And this is our live site. And indeed the add to cart is right there. We can click on, for example, five add to cart and it added five add to cart. Perfect. All right, guys, a little intermezzo. I don't really like how, um, during the tutorial, the CSS, so how the add to cart visually looks. Now, I know it's going to depend on your store and your preferences, and it's very hard for me to give you out of the code box that is visually exactly what you're looking for. Uh, although, that being said, I've added some other options to the document below where the uh, cart, add to cart only appears on hover, where the button appears next to the quality selector. Um, and so that way, you kind of have the option to kind of choose on how you want to do this in case the following example doesn't really appear to you visually. So it stays exactly the same. Instead of copying and pasting the code that I'm copying and pasting in, just scroll down below in the document, see which visual aspect you prefer more. And instead of the one, the code that I'm copying and pasting, just copy the code that uh, fits your visual section the most. So that's it. All you have to do is copy and paste the code that you like visually the most in the section of the document below that you prefer uh, instead of the code that I'm pasting. Or you can just keep following. Everything is exactly the same. We're just going to add some lines of code. That is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some solid value out of it. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I make tons of Shopify videos about code, about app reviews, about marketing strategy, and about a whole other bunch of stuff. So if you're a Shopify store owner, make sure to like and subscribe. It means the world to me because these videos take a lot of time to make and I'm really trying to teach everything I know about Shopify as a Shopify developer over to my subscribers. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.